Hi there, in this video I'm just going to I'm going to just show a little bit of Map Basic working in the Map Basic window sort of macro style um, and uh, which is going to shift objects in my map view by x meters or x whatever um, uh, units, distance units or indeed um, um, on the y-axis as well if needed um, and this this works on any kind of feature type whether it's I've got polygons here um, but it could be a point, it could be text, it could be a line uh, whatever. So the two things we're going to see here is firstly the map basic window and secondly uh, a command to um, uh, move selected features. Um, so down in the windows I'll just turn on map basic window. So here I've got these historic England data, it's the Battle of Bosworth Field um, and there's the Battle of Naseby down there. Um, this is just in my neck of the woods which is where I've got these. Um, this is all this raster map background which I tend to use. It's a lot better than Google and and others. Um, I think the uh, rendering of symbology is much much um, uh, more intelligent. Um, so how does, how does uh, how so this is the map basic window and I can I can type, type, type hello for example and up pops hello and it forces a an OK. Um, um, every time I press return and put the cursor to the end, um, off it goes. If I do a print, it just prints it in the um, message window. And um, I can, if I do another, oh, sorry, if I do another print, hello again, it puts hello again straight under. So you know that that's that's the map basic window working. That's how you can execute commands. Now one of the commands is object move. So what you can um, use uh, objects move for, which is the command, uh, like I said, is to move features. But the features with that command have to be selected. So it works on the selection. So if I do, let's say, a marquee selection, I don't need a marquee selection, but I'll select this Battle of Bosworth field, you see. So now objects move is the command. Uh, I want to move it at an angle of 90 degrees, so straight up, head north and a distance of 500 with units meters okay so the object selected objects move 90 degrees 500 meters that's what i'm gonna um, be shifting press return watch the object and up it shifts let's get a little um, crazy 1.5 clicks and boom okay so that moved the whole feature um, you know, with that command, so I could go off on a 180. I won't do it as much, actually. Uh, and I could, uh, um, well, obviously, do any angle. So it's shifting the whole thing. Let's uh, actually let's bring this down a bit. Um, 1500 at 45. So there you go. North heads northeast. So that that's how it works. If 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 you didn't have a selection, so let's uh, clear selection. Press clear selection brush and now press. You know. So I'm just putting the cursor to the end of the line. Press return. The selection cannot be accessed as a table. So you have to use a selection. There's always selection. So that selection could have been based on SQL or whatever. So like I said, it works on points. It works on um, any you know text as well. You can have um, type in there. And the type is um, sort of spherical or Cartesian. So depending on whether you know you want it shifted across lap long, um, spherically, um, or just a flat surface, I'm just using a flat surface. Um, then you, you, you can just say Cartesian. I think the default's actually the default's Cartesian. So that's that's the other um, options. So there is there is another command called objects offset, and that's that's where it writes to a table. And actually, that is. In the menu item, I think uh, transform. Oh, you need an editable layer, uh, but offset object. Yeah, so you can do you can do, use that there. But the idea of this is to you know shift straight away um, some selected object, um, one or more. How, how to get everything sort of back to what it was? Well, under the um, home, um, he says, guy still sorry, table is reverse. Still getting used to this interface after like years. It's, I'm still old school map info with loads of toolbars. It's much better. But anyway, uh, press revert. 
discard the changes to my battlefields and it gets put back to where it was. So like I said, I'll just do one more on the um, on the text object. Let's make cos cosmetic layer editable. And let's insert some text. Let's say my text, okay? Um, and then just make sure that's selected, my text. And now let's um, objects move angle, let's head it north. 90, uh, 1.5 clicks north, and there you see um, my text has moved. So it works with with you know any object. Um, so anyway, there you go. Select your points and shift them around by a specific angle, um, uh, and whatever you like. And indeed, we've got the map basic window open. So as we're doing um, various commands, they'll be reflected in map basic, and you can see what's going on. Anyway, that's a little intro to the map basic window, but but. Um, more importantly, showing you how um, quite, quite a useful command to shift objects around by a set distance, set units, and a set uh, angle. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.